Heavy rain across the country continues to displace people from their homes as more deaths are reported in the past couple of days. Nine-year-old Jamaluddin from Munasa Kurung in East Archer was missing on Wednesday. He was last seen swimming in floodwaters with friends. On Friday, his body was recovered by search and rescue teams. As of Friday afternoon, floods in East and North Archer have caused three deaths. Several residents were also still in temporary shelters, as extensive flooding in the region hampered normal activity. With water levels up to three metres deep, land transport has been limited, making aid distribution more difficult. Berapa tempat pengungsian yang sudah disediakan oleh pemerintah setempat? Semua, semua, semua tempat kita sediakan baik laut. Berapa lalu. kecamatan itu pak? Semua kecamatan. Semua Jadi, kecamatan di 24 kecamatan. Yang terdampak ya pak? Ya. A total of 10,115 people are still in temporary shelters in 23 affected sub-districts. Christmas plans had to be put on hold for residents of Sakura Inda residential complex in Medan, North Sumatra. Rising flood waters forced residents to relocate to temporary shelters. Residents say improper drainage facilities and the construction of new residential complexes in the neighborhood were also to blame. In East Bandung, recently repaved Jalan Rumah Sakit now looks like a river. In Chilinchang, floods reached depths of 50 centimetres and also affected the Gedebago wholesale market. Three kilometres of the main road linking Chilachop Central Java with Bandung West Java were flooded, cutting off traffic. With more rains in the forecast for the country, authorities hope residents will take precautions to ensure their safety.